swords and pistols in their hands. This is at an apartment building and a pretty concerning video that is now going viral on social media. National news is picking this up, but we've been following this locally for weeks and we have questions. City council members and people living in the area claim this is part of a gang takeover in several parts of the city. Those claims now getting national attention. So we wanted to go right to the mayor. Mayor Mike Hoffman joins us live via Zoom this morning to talk more about the situation. First of all, thank you for taking some time out. I know you're, you're dealing with a lot. Uh, when you see this video, uh, you, what do you think? Because I don't live in Aurora, but I think to myself, holy cow, if I lived in Aurora, I'd be freaking out right now. Well, it's, uh, you know, <clears throat> let me put it in context first. Uh, this concern that it's three apartment complexes, but that's that's not to minimize it at all. But we're, you know, the 51st largest city in America. We're 400,000 in population. So, but it, uh, there are three apartment complexes that we believe in that there are where there is a concentration of Venezuelan migrants and the criminality is unfortunately followed. Uh, and uh, so we have uh, Venezuelan criminal elements that are preying upon their own people, but, but have, in doing so have taken over uh, uh, several apartment complexes. So um, if, we, if we have to, and I, and I hope, hope we don't, I hope we can move these people out uh, without um, uh, pushing everybody out of the entire apartment building. Uh, but I'll tell you, as somebody who was in counterinsurgency warfare in, in Iraq uh, with the Marine Corps, uh, this is, you have an enemy population that is, that, you have an enemy that is inside a population that is intimidated by them. And so the, the challenge is getting people to cooperate to identify them or, or using film footage to identify them, get them out. Uh, so uh, what I look forward to is updates from our police department and from our other law enforcement partners that are working on this to, to, to say what progress that we're making uh, in, term, in these isolated areas in terms of in these pockets uh, in terms of uh, dealing with what I consider as an enemy force. Well, if, if, if Fed policies, as you say, I asked you the same question last week as a yes or no answer. I'd like you to elaborate today. Is Aurora a safe place? Absolutely. I think, you know, you're talking about a city of well over 400,000, well over 400,000 people, 51st largest city in America. And this is a very isolated problem. Um, you know, we have other isolated problems that we're trying to deal with. And I, you know, as, as certainly the mayor, I don't believe you, you surrender any part of this city to a criminal element, whether it's, it's sections of Aurora to, um, you know, prostitutions and, and drug dealing or it's these uh, um, criminal elements from this Venezuelan criminal elements that are preying upon their own people, but but in doing so have taken over uh, uh, several apartment complexes. So um, if, if we have to, and I and I hope we don't, I hope we can move these people out uh, without um, uh, pushing everybody out of the entire apartment building. Uh, but I'll tell you, as somebody who was in counterinsurgency warfare in in Iraq uh, with the Marine Corps. This is, you have an enemy population where people do desperate things. So my concern is certainly beyond this immediate gang issue, but that is the most serious issue before us right now. And we are confronting it head on. Uh, and, and we will, you know, we're going to get it done. Yeah, I, I know this is a problem that's coming to a head right now. And you say that there are steps to make it better. Is it going to get worse before it gets better? No, I don't think it's going to get worse before it gets better. I mean, uh, the fact is, and we, you know, we have we have dedicated uh, a lot of resources towards this, as, as has, you know, we are working with the federal government as well from a law enforcement standpoint, as well as uh, with some of our state partners, you know, focus on on these isolated areas, um, you know, to to you know identify the criminal element, get them off the street, uh, and so you know that's the objective right now. We're going to accomplish that. Mayor Mike Coffin, uh, Mayor of Aurora, uh, thank you for taking time. I mean, the worst thing we can do is not talk about this, so we appreciate you joining us here on the show. As a lot of people are talking about this video, a lot of people who live in these complexes mm -hmm. are, are not happy, they don't feel safe, and, and they want answers, and so we appreciate you answering those questions and providing at least some of those answers that you can right now. New police chief uh, in Aurora is going to have their hands full, of course, dealing with this as well, and so uh, hopefully we'll, we'll keep in touch with you, and hopefully you'll keep in touch with well, ladies and gentlemen, you heard what the mayor is saying, and um, I think what is going to happen, and and a mayor can, and both the mayor and the police chief both can say whatever they want to say to calm down the public, 
But let's be realistic, ladies and gentlemen. Well, I mean, you cannot combat a gang like this, a, Ven a Venezuelan gang like this. It's sort of, and again, like I heard rumors now from a former YouTuber. I just posted uh, that just popped up on my notifications. Now the Hell's Angels are coming to Colorado to combat those gangs. And don't be surprised that gang members in Denver, like the Bloods, the Crips, also going to Aurora. You know, it's like they're basically, it seemed to me that this is going to be an all-out gang war. And they're trying to calm down the public. But I'm going to be honest with you. This is like what Michi just said. We cannot adjust a gang like this. In Venezuela, why do you think they taking hostages? They're, you know, I'm, I'm saying some gruesome stuff. But they, you know what, in their heads. They, they, I mean, this is how serious these gangs are. And then the biggest question is how can they attain these weapons like this? AR-15s, M-16s. These are highly powered weapons they have. And they already took over three apartment buildings. And they try to be nonchalant. I understand they want to calm down the public. They want to um, they say, well, you know, we're, we're investigating this. We're trying to resolve this as much as we can, blah, 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 to the media. But saying to the media and try to combat these gangs is two different things. Now, we heard that the Hells Angels, which is a motorcycle gang, is headed to Colorado. I heard that the Bloods and the Crips in the Denver chapter is headed to Aurora. So these, the, 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 so right now, there are now gangs are stepping up trying to combat those Venezuelan gangs. And I, I'm, I'm going to tell you something. I'm, and, and, and I'll tell you like this, Dad, it's the government's fault to allow immigrants in this country in the first place. You have... Me, I, I'll tell you like this, hundreds of millions of immigrants already in here. And they're pushing, I'm telling you right now, and this is why I said this is going to happen. You already got chapters, I'm talking about Venez Venezuelan gangs, you already got chapters in, in Aurora, Denver, Chicago, Atlanta, New York, LA. And we're not affiliated with this type of gang lifestyle. I'm just going to be being honest. So now you got not only biker gangs are joining the fight. Now you got black gangs, the Bloods and the Crips, GDs and Vice Lords are, are, are heard that they're also joining the fight. So you have all these gangs already ready to battle. But we will see what will happen next. But, I, but ladies and gentlemen, I don't know. This is a different breed of gangs we're dealing with. We never deal with a gang like a Venezuelan gang like this. How they taking over apartment buildings? How they kidnap and rob and all of that? We never, we never affiliate with, we never deal with a gang like this. So let me know what you think about the the mayor's response and the the police chief's response of this. I mean, oh man, I have we have never deal with gangs like this. We have never deal with gangs like this. I mean. I mean, I mean, at least with our gangs, the black gangs, we have we we have structure, we we have loyalty, and we um and, and we have respect one another. This gangs is out of control that we're dealing with. The Venezuelan gangs are out of control, and um, but the, they, like I told you before, the mayor can say things, the police chief can say things, but let's be realistic. How how can we contain a gang like this? And we allowing them into the country in the first place. With the, we didn't even do a background background check on these people. So let me know what you think about this in the comments.